In this exercise, you will begin by exploring your Pi landscape. You will review the library to understand the components in it. You will import the example kit into your own database and create the required configuration components. Review the Pi architecture diagram provided in the scenario at the beginning of this course manual. This shows all the servers in your Pi landscape and which components are installed on each. Log on to Pi Monitor 01 using a web browser. Open Pi System Explorer from the taskbar. It will automatically open in the PSM Course Answer database. Select Library in the navigator in the lower left to open the library in the browser. You will see a list of templates for the answer of this solution listed under the Element Templates in the browser. Right click on Element Templates and select Arrange By, Arrange By Template References. Note the PSM Global Configuration Element Template. You will see more of this when you set up your database, but for now, just know that it is a required part of the structure and contains several necessary configuration attributes. Span the tree under PSM Farm, PSM Domain, PSM Server Basic, and you will see several types of element templates for the Pi system components under PSM Server Basic. You can see this uses a type of container system whereby Pi system components are part of servers, which are part of domains, which are part of farms. If you expand PSM Server Full, you will see the same list of templates. That is because the PSM Server Full is derived from PSM Server Basic. It adds a few more items. This means you can use either of the two PSM Server templates to represent a server. There are also group templates both above and below PSM Server. PSM Group Servers above is used to organize a group of servers, while PSM Group Components below is used to organize a group of Pi system components. These are both just additional organizational templates and are optional. Apart from the PSM Global Configuration element, the only required element in a PSM database is a PSM server, as it contains certain attributes used in Pi tag naming, which are also inherited by its children elements. The PSM farm, PSM domain, and PSM group templates are intended for organizational purposes, but are not required for the template library to work. Next, expand the event frame templates. Right click and select Arrange by, Arrange by template inheritance. Expand the PSM event and then the PSM data archive event to see the various event frames used for monitoring Pi system components. Select the PSM data archive event template and look at the general tab in the viewer. Note that the naming pattern contains various aspects of the element, start trigger, and time. This is important because it provides key information right in the name of the event frame, which component is having issues, what triggered the issue, and when. Back under the element templates, select PSM Data Archive and select the Notification Rule Templates tab in the viewer. Select the Archive Corruption Alert Rule and click Manage Formats under Subscriptions on the right in the viewer. In the pop-up window, you will see the design of the email that will be sent out when this notification is triggered by the event frame. Some key things to note are the inclusion of the event frame name in the subject. This narrows focus to the specific issue. As you saw previously, the start trigger name is included in the event frame name to identify the specific cause of the issue. Click OK to close the email window. Select Elements in the navigator to bring up elements in the browser. You will see the element structure in the answer database. You can expand various levels to see what is in there. The answer database has many more elements than what you will create in this course. For further information on these elements, see the optional exercises and other answer components section on this course manual to view the templates and elements in the answer database. A new Pi system monitoring database has already been created for you to use. In the Pi system explorer, click the database button on the top left of the toolbar. Select the PSM course student database in the list and click OK. Prior to importing new templates into a database, you should ensure that any new units of measure have been imported or you will see errors when importing the templates. Keep in mind that the Units of Measure database is global for an entire AF system, and all AF databases have access to the same Units of Measure database. Technically, this step is not necessary for the course because we've already loaded the new Units of Measure for the Answer database. But remember to do this step if you decide to deploy the PSM example kit on another Pi system. 
Ensure the PSM course student database is selected at the top of the library list in the browser. Right-click on the database name and select Import from File. Click on the ellipses dot 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 button on the right of the file path and select the PSM Units of Measure XML file. The following import options should be selected and click OK. After it's done importing, you should see a message saying the requested action is complete. You can close the import window. Repeat these steps, but select the Pi System Monitoring Example Kit XML file to import the PSM Example Kit. This will take a little bit longer. Select Elements in the Navigator to bring up Elements in the browser, and you will see the element structure in your database. At this time, you will only have the ZZZ global configuration element, which comes with the example kit. Select the global configuration element and select the attributes tab in the viewer. You will see there are four attributes. Two of these attributes require configuration. Click on the value field next to the global notification email address and enter the email address provided in the scenario at the beginning of the course. Ensure it is exactly correct. Click on the value field next to the PSM data archive name and enter the monitoring data archive server name provided in the architecture diagram at the beginning of the course. Ensure it is exactly correct. While you can edit the analysis output point source, it has a default value of PSM, which we recommend leaving unless you have a specific reason to change this. The version is the overall version number of the PSM example kit and is for informational purposes only. In the browser, you will see a red check mark and star next to the ZZZ global configuration element. This indicates that there are changes to this item which have not yet been checked in. Click on the check in button in the toolbar and click check in on the window to save your changes. Now you'll proceed with creating your hierarchy. Based on the architecture diagram, all systems to be monitored are on the same network domain, so you will only require a single domain element. Right-click on Elements in the browser and select New Element. Select the PSM Domain Template and click OK. A domain element will be created with the default name, indicating that user input is required. On the General tab in the viewer, change the name to Pi School. If you select the Attributes tab in the viewer, you will see there are no attributes for this element. Apart from the element name for easy use in Pi Vision, it simply acts as an organizational level in the hierarchy. For this course, we will only use the domain organizational level, not farm or group. Remember to check in your changes.